Hello Scorpio and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a reading for your monthly predictions to see what's going on in your life at this very moment, right? And to give you some guidance and clarity on how you should act. Alright, so let's get right into it. I'm going to be using the Psychic Tarot for the Heart Oracle deck as my main tarot deck today. What awaits Scorpio this June 2021? Ooh. Spread your wings. Came out. This is the Two of Wands. What awaits Scorpio this month? What is headed their way this June 2021? Moving on, Eight of Cups in Reverse. Nine of Pentacles, well-deserved reward. What is awaiting Scorpio this month? Five of Swords, four cards please. The Tower in Reverse. Hmm. Okay, Scorpio, the first card that came out was the Two of Wands. As you can see, this girl is walking on this fine stardust towards, towards the sun, towards the universe. She's spreading her wings, she's spreading her arms and is ready to take off. I love this card, it gives me the vibe of finally finally getting off your ass and doing what you wanted from the beginning it's a really nice energy here being inspired and motivated to take the next step with this five of swords here the five of swords shows shows a loss shows a defeat there was a battle there was a conflict with someone or with something in your life that really pulled you down. It made you got, get off your wagon. It put you off your course. And now you're finally ready to come back. Okay, so this is interesting. This is definite, definitive Scorpio energy. As Scorpios, you are one of the four fixed signs, right? So the thing that you're always so fixated on is your emotions because of how intense they are you seem to not be able to let go of people who hurt you you hold grudges all the time and that's part of your lesson in trying how in, in evolving you need to kind of understand when to let go and how to let go of past hurts and past defeats with people and in different situations with this five of swords here shows that you've experienced this loss which didn't suit you you want it you're constantly you're unable to move on from it you're unable to move on from this defeat you want to constantly revisit it and try to win somehow although it's over it's now in the past you should be moving on from it but you can't seem to get it out of your energy the emperor is a very authoritative figure right so it it definitely shows that your conflict might have been with an authority here with a father figure with someone that is your superior that you've highly trusted and put that you've put your trust in and they seem to have betrayed this trust somehow you can't really let go of this betrayal I'm, see I'm saying betrayal, but it might have just been a defeat of some way. You definitely learned from it though, with this well-deserved reward, Nine of Pentacles card. You came out on top. You've evolved ever since. You know exactly what you want to achieve and you're running after it. So you being on top here 
Spirit is warning you this month that this past defeat might revisit you in the shape of a tower moment. That all that you've built so far might fall apart in the split of a second with this tower card in reverse. And tower cards usually are very indicative of an upheaval or a very sudden abrupt change that makes everything twist and fall apart. In reverse, it shows that you're going to be staying very fixated and stuck on this change. You don't want it to change. You don't want it to be falling apart. But you can't do anything about it. It's going to be falling apart, you know? So perhaps try to let go of the situation. Just focus on yourself here with this uh, Nine of Pentacles card. Focus entirely, entirely on yourself and your independence. You don't need this figure here making you dread. Let go of them. They don't have a place in your life anymore. This is the message of June. Alright, so I'm going to be pulling three oracle cards from my energy deck. What else is coming towards Scorpio's way this month, Spirit? The sun. Yay. What else is coming towards Tor Scorpio's way? And this is coming towards Scorpio's way. Oh, anxiety. Okay, so this month, you have the potential to be happy. You have the potential to really flourish and enjoy your summer this month. If you just spread your wings and actually get to do what you've been planning to do for a while, something that has inspired you and motivated you to stay alive for those past few weeks, something that has been on your, on your mind for a while, but you didn't come around to actually do it because you've been obsessing over this past defeat here that has been hindering you from walking on the stardust and actually finding your way towards the light again, towards the sun towards your happiness. The garden and the gate card in reverse. The garden and the gate shows a girl that is standing in her little garden, her comfort zone, and not really wanting to take the step to open the door and see what's beyond that, what adventures lie ahead, what kind of blessings that she might be facing. Because she's afraid, she's scared that if she left her comfort zone, she might get hurt. In reverse, it seems like you have already left your comfort zone in the past and you have trusted yourself to actually go out and experience something with someone or with, or in general in a certain situation that was totally out of your comfort zone, right? But you ended up getting hurt and so you've returned to your garden. You've returned to your comfort zone. And you've been thinking about what you've experienced out there ever since. You've been thinking about going back to this. You might have been going back to this with your mind, with your mental energy. And it's been taking a toll on your concentration. It's been deri deriving you from focusing on yourself, on your goals, on your achievements, on making yourself grow. And it has put a lot of anxiety. It stirred up a lot of anxiety inside of you. I just want to say that you, Scorpio, you really need to let go of whatever grudge you were holding on to with this person, with this emperor in your life. You need to let go of them. They don't deserve to take so much of your energy anymore. Alright, so I'm going to be at last using the Surrender deck to see what you need to surrender to, Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to surrender to this month, Spirit? What does Scorpio need to surrender to this month? 
Surrender negative thinking. What did I just say? <laughs> this fits this anxiety card. That they have been taking too much mental energy and effort. And you've been holding this grudge and revisiting past events with them. When there is really no place in your life anymore for this person or this past situation. You need to completely let go of them. That is your message. Surrender to effortlessness. Wow. All right, so surrender negative thinking. You have control over your thoughts. Yeah. When negative thoughts surface, say thank you for sharing and quickly refocus on positive affirmations. I don't want to say more about this card. It says it all. Surrender to effortlessness. Stop pushing so hard. The art of living means going with the flow instead of trying to force the river. I think this card relates more to your tower moment that is about to come this month uh, in regards to this person perhaps resurfacing again or something about this past situation that you've been dreading resurfacing in a way or another or having to revisit it. And Spirit wants to suggest you to surrender completely to whatever happens to let this tower moment take place and not try to get in its way surrender to effortlessness you don't need to do or you need you don't need to do anything just be just live just focus on yourself this month it's all about you and everything else is gonna fall into place just don't let yourself be dragged down with this anxiety with this negative mental energy. Let go, surrender, let things unfold. Thank you, Scorpio, for watching, and I'm gonna see you in the next video. Bye!